Hey, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. Visiting some friends today on the east side of the Big Island. And we're going to take a look at their quite amazing solar system, but check out this view from their lanai. That's the wild Pacific Ocean in the background. Absolutely beautiful. And you can see over in here, that's the lava flow from 2018 just skirted right around this property. So they really lucked out and their place survived as did many of their neighbors. While further down there, an entire subdivision was wiped out. But this looks absolutely beautiful day today. Okay, so what we're looking at here on this home that is 100% off grid is a battery that I've never seen. Maybe some of you guys will have seen it, but this is what they call home grid. And it is lithium. And it's got a nice gauge here on the front. You can see their 100% state of charge. I don't know the size of these batteries, but anyway, these those white, these are stackable batteries. So that is three batteries there. And we couldn't find the spec sheet, so I can't tell you how big that is, but it's big. And <laughs> I'll show you what we can see of the inside here. And don't expect me to know what this all is, but some of you guys will. This is quite a quite a battery. He's got uh, over 7,000 watts of solar coming in to uh, two Flexmax 80s from Outback. Yeah, they're only good for 4,000 watts each, so I had to get two. Okay. When I uh, increased the panels. You had to add a controller when you increased mm -hmm. the panels? Yeah, I maxed out the first, first one that came on the original system. It's got the nice lightning protection. And a lot of this, I'm not sure what, what this is either. Is that the combiner box? You know, I have no idea. I, know, sure. I know you can hook up. Okay, you can go on uh, the web, hook into it. They can, if you have problems, you can call up. They can go into your system remotely and tell you what's going on. Oh, but I haven't done that. Okay. It was just too difficult to get everything dealt uh, with. But it's working perfectly for you. It's working, so <laughs> I haven't had put any pressure on me to, to <laughs> make any headways in there. And that's the way you wanted it, right? Exactly. You don't it's want to have to worry about it. He's running a couple of full-size freezers, or uh, refrigerator freezers and a freezer, and it has a completely modern house and he doesn't want to have to worry about whether he's got enough power to turn anything on and he does when i get up in the morning i want to be able to make my tea that, <laughs> <laughs> don't ask for much you just that's that, it right there that's right and this is doing it i don't need drama <laughs> that's a pretty pretty sweet looking battery though mac that i like that beautiful i like how just at a glimpse you can see what your state of charge is yeah, it gives it, it all kinds of information there. You can go through the scroll and do all kinds of stuff. I don't have a clue what it's telling me. Yeah. Yeah, and you, there, here the Outback shows everything that you got yeah, yeah. going on. But yeah, so when you bumped up to like 7,000 watts of solar or something, you had to, to add the other charge control. Exactly. Yeah, it was and, only good for, it and was now, good for four. You wake up in the morning and, and what's your percentage look like after a whole night of running everything? 35. 35 mm -hmm. so sweet. i'm going to say that i'm going to give you that as an average yeah yeah so that's perfect lithium iron phosphate of course nice batteries i've not seen that brand before that's very nice thanks for sharing this with us mac oh yeah appreciate it a lot of guys are going to love seeing this type of a system beautiful oh my god last year i had so much uh overcast so, uh, what's it running at right now? So this is his solar hot water 
uh, catchment, or you, oh, you, no, you take hot. solar hot water from your panels, right? No, nope. yeah, yeah. No. Right, you take the it circulates. I get the, the Grundfos circulator. Uh huh. So when it heats up more than the tank is holding, if the tank's holding 100 degree water, it won't do anything until the panels get to above 100 degrees. Then the circulation pump will come on. Nice. So it's sitting at about what 122 yeah. or something right yeah. now. That's it, nice. It'll get up hotter. You know, it'll get way hot. <laughs> and can we see the panels from down here? Sure. Or? Yeah. Okay, so there's his uh, uh, hot water panels, solar hot water panels. That's what I need to get going on at my yeah, place. I'm still yeah. running a little propane. Yeah, I hate that. Yeah, me too. I want to get off the propane completely. Although I, I had to, I had it, I've got the system I can hook up to propane because last year, I had, I don't know, man, it seemed like weeks of overcast and it got down to 80 degrees and I am not in to 80 degree showers. <laughs> I have no go. So I can, I can go to the propane when necessary, but I haven't had to again. That's great, Mac. Yeah. And he's got a beautiful farm down here. Uh, these are all um, <laughs> macadamia <laughs> nut trees. Yeah. And are they still producing, Mac? No. Or? They're... Well, but you know what? Uh, a dying tree keeps producing. <laughs> oh, okay. And these are all dying, and they're dying because the ground under here is still hot. Oh, from the lava flow. Yep. It's the, where their roots are still too hot. Uh huh. It's killing them. Killed that uh, palm tree right behind you. And here we are years later, and the lava is still hot beneath our feet. Over there, um, where that log is, we covered up with dirt, but there was a steam vent there. So right here, he was telling me that uh, just where he dug out this little like barbecue pit, it's still so warm with the thermal activity underneath the ground from the lava, which has been since 2018. So we're talking five years already mm -hmm. since that happened. He was put the heat gun out there and it was how much, how hot? 150. 150 degrees still. So that's why his uh, mac nut trees here have died back a little bit. But this, this it, part of the Island has bounced back pretty good. They were all looking real dead from the, the fumes from that flow. So here I am on the road out for my friends and I wanna thank them for inviting me out to show how they live out here. And this is the only road in and out now. It's a little bumpy. And we got a few more of these lava fields to to cross before I get onto paved road, so it'll be slow going home. Beautiful view of the ocean out there too. And you can see where the oasis for them starts and some of their neighbors who survived. And out there were some homes that did not. Start working my way home. And way back up in there is where we were, and you can see it's kind of an oasis up there now. And then here's the, the lava field that I am crossing right now. Pretty crunchy. And just look at that landscape. Here I am back on nice paved road, narrow as it is, through a canopy of a lot of mango trees. This is kind of a mango road. <laughs> I don't know what else to call it, but these are a lot of mango trees here. A few weeks ago, the road was absolutely covered with mangoes. I mean, like thousands of them. And I got a few more lava fields to cross. I'll give you a couple of clips of that coming up here. And then I'll be where I can really start scooting home pretty quick. But this is a very beautiful road. Okay, here I'm crossing the last lava field. And up there where those dark rain clouds are is home. So it looks like I might be catching some water, which will be great. And I'll just show you what it looks like out in front of me. This is where we, where they had to cut the road back open for the people that I just visited to have access to their property. It took a long time before they cut this road in. And we're just skirting the 
the water's edge here. And this is where I'm going to leave you guys. So hope you enjoyed the show today. And we've got many more uh, guest appearances to show you. But that was a pretty cool solar system. I wish I would have known a little bit more about that particular system, but some of you guys will, and you can chime in and tell us what you know about that. But he's very happy with it, and it's working great for them out there. Beautiful afternoon. I'm going to get home just before dark. i got a good hour of road work to do here. Aloha, everybody. Beautiful. All right. Chasing dark now.